Um, Mr Chairman, Honourable Ruth Dyson. Um, can I first of all acknowledge the Minister's very clear response um, in, in a less pleasant way than I would have expected, but I guess it's Thursday <laughs> night and it's been a busy been week, a long week for the Minister. It's just unusual, actually, for, yeah, him, for him to revert to that, but it was a genuine um, uh, stating of his position that he is confident that we've got this right. That is important to the Select Committee. What I was interested in was at what part of the process did he consider that we hadn't got it right the first time. So I'm looking for a process question, um, but it doesn't matter. We can, we can ask some students to write a thesis on it at some stage in the future, because it's not often that you have a technical bill that when it's introduced, everyone thinks it fixes an issue, and then it comes back to Parliament um, quite substantially altered. It maybe was as a result, direct result of the submissions. That in itself would be worthy of some comment, in my view, because many people say, what difference will I make if I put in a submission on the bill? And this would be a great example where everyone was trying to fix it and the submitters themselves made a difference. Now, I just want to um, clarify the situation in relation to... I'm actually keener on chocolate fish, I have to say, um, to the member, but if he wants to alter the offer, that's, that's fine to make it more appropriate to the debate. Um, but if the member was implying at any stage that I was criticising the officials, then he wasn't listening to my speech. I made it very clear that not only were the officials competent, they were engaged and open and exemplary behaviour. Actually, I was seriously impressed um, with the competence that they gave to, to a group of members of parliament who hadn't dealt with this in any detail before. So we, we were not people who had been on the select committee in the past, dealt with the original legislation, so they really were starting at kindergarten level, and I think they did an extraordinarily good job. I was merely interested in the process question. The other point that I wanted to make before um, the Minister leapt to his feet and wasn't, uh, was unable to ask the final point that I wanted to make in this is that in a, in a bill of this nature, particularly when, when technological advances are moving at such a rapid pace, we don't know what's going to happen overseas, let alone in New Zealand, in this space, in my view, in the view of Labour, it would be very helpful to have an automatic review mechanism included in the legislation. We were quite surprised the original legislation didn't have that in. It has become more common, and I want to make a very strong commendation. Regret that it wasn't supported by the National Party, um, but it certainly was by Labour and the Greens at the Select Committee, that in future, in, a, in the next amendment, because it's outside the scope of this bill, um, that a review mechanism is included in the Act. I think it would be advantageous. It would ensure that we don't get ourselves into difficulty in the future, and I commend that to the Minister's thinking. The question is that parts 1 and 2 and clauses 1 and 2 stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. Contrary no. The motion is agreed to. I will report this bill without amendment. <coughs> Members, the House has resumed. Mr Speaker, the Thank committee you. has considered the Human Assisted Reproductive Technology Storage Amendment Bill and reports it without amendment. The question is that the report be adopted. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary will say no. The ayes have it. This bill is set down for third reading next sitting day. Point of order, David Bennett. Uh, point of order, Mr Speaker. Since the House has made such good progress today, uh, will we seek leave for the House to rise? Leave is sought for that purpose. Is there any objection? No objection. The House stands adjourned until 2pm on Tuesday, the 21st of September. <laughs>